So another data type in Ruby are symbols. And symbols are a little contentious because many people don't seem to understand symbols uh, and their difference from strings. They're like strings, but instead of strings that, for example, have uh, are surrounded by quotes, in symbols they use a prefix uh, of uh, a colon uh, to denote it. So let's go into our Ruby, uh, our Ruby interpreter by typing IRB, and symbols have a huge advantage because they're usually used as keys and hashes, and we'll cover hashes in just a bit. But they're also very useful because they're memory efficient. So we can actually test this by uh, calling the object ID method on a string and then on an object on a symbol. So let's say seven, and then let's do object ID. And this is a very long object ID. It's obviously not uh, doesn't preserve memory very well. Let's do the same, but this time with a uh, an, with the symbol seven. And then this one is obviously shorter. It's more memory efficient. And ideal and ideally used as uh, as a key in hashes, and we'll cover that in just a bit. 